Welcome, welcome to the Elite Review Podcast. We are coming at you here today. We are doing Harry Potter and the half Blood Prince. We are continuing the Harry Potter series. Um, we'll be having Order of the Phoenix up here, and then we've got half Blood Prince, and then we'll be going through Deathly Hallows Part 1, Deathly Hallows Part 2. That'll complete it all. It's going to be great. Um, so close. And then, yeah, before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out our other Harry Potter videos. Like I just mentioned, we got a playlist there. Um, we got a lot of Marvel content coming out here. We'll be doing the Eternals and a lot of other movies coming out here. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check all that out. Um, and we're doing some fun Halloween sort of videos yeah. too, so she was tuned for that in the Halloween time. So um, here we go. Let's go through the half foot prints. Um, start with the characters. What do you give the characters? Let's go one to ten. I gave the characters a nine, just because um, I think that this is like, like the actors know what they're doing now. Um, so you know they do good, <laughs> especially Harry. He's great. Yeah, he's great in this. He's a great actor. Um, I like. One thing that stands out to me is how Malfoy is like actually in this movie, which I like a lot. It's pretty great. And I think his like arc and plot is really cool. Um, Dumbledore just has like does some awesome stuff in this. I didn't say Gandalf this time. <laughs> um, I think he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then Ron and Hermione, I think that they're good when they're in it. I think Ron, like especially like I think it's funny when he has like the love potion. And stuff. Oh yeah, that's really funny. They still don't do like too much in this, no, but they don't. like. They're pretty good in there, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Nice. Um, I give the characters a 9.5 out of 10. I just think they're almost perfect here. Um, they're not exactly at the very best yet, but they're about to be there. Um, I think I got to give it mostly to Harry and Dumbledore, too, just because they're both obviously the stars in this yeah. one. Yeah. Even from the start, they have their great scene together. Um, and then at the end, but then just the final act with those two is always really great to see. So good. Um, Snape as well. I mean, Snape's an interesting character in this, and uh, you obviously start to hate him at the end. Yeah. Um, and it's cool when you watch the rest of these movies looking back at what Snape was doing in this one. It makes his character really interesting. Um, oh, yeah. And then I like the the professor that they find. I can't remember his name. You know, the one that yeah. they need the potion from. The potions master guy. I can't know. remember his name. his name. But anyway, he's also pretty fun. I actually enjoy him quite a bit. And it's cool how he has a history with Voldemort. Um, <laughs> they're trying to get to him and stuff. And then, yeah, I think, yeah, Ron and Hermione are fun in it. I love Ron getting that potion, too. It's really fun. Um, Malfoy is also interesting in it, too. I mean, he's got a pretty interesting arc going on. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think every character is just pretty mature and pretty well done in this movie. So, we'll give them 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and go to the dialogue. What do you give the dialogue? I give the dialogue an 8. Um, I think this movie has good dialogue, especially cause the actors are, like, a lot better than in the older movies, which just kind of boosted up a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like all the dialogue and the interactions between them. Like I said, like the love potion stuff is really funny. Mm-hmm. And I like whenever like Dumbledore says stuff, like it's all good dialogue. It is. Yeah. Nice. Um, I give the dialogue a nine out of 10 here. Um, Cause yeah, I think it's all really, really good. I love, once again, just Dumbledore and Harry's lines together. <laughs> Always so interesting. Um, and then that professor too I was mentioning, just the potion master, he's just so funny. Um, he delivers every line really great. Yeah, yeah I just like a lot of little dialogue moments, like um, you know Harry and Hermione are in that little party, that dinner thing they go to. Oh and yeah, just talking and just trying to avoid talking to the one guy and stuff. Like it's all really fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I just have a lot of fun with the dialogue in it, and then it's really cool too with Snape and like how Harry feels about that and how he tries mm-hmm. to confront him about that and all that. And um, kind of everything was just the whole half footprints too, like through the book and everything revealed in there. I just think it's it's all really cool. Um, words and stuff, the potions and spells, it's all really interesting. So I like the dialogue in this a lot. Yeah, it's good. Um, let's get to the visuals. Let me get the visuals in this movie. Give the visuals an 8.5 just because usually I, th- I feel like I usually go for like a 9 on the visuals. Mm-hmm. Just for this one, I feel like this is when the Harry Potter movies like just start to, the tone of it just starts to get really dark and like I don't know I don't like it that much for like a movie like this too mm-hmm. like I don't know sometimes it like seems like it's almost completely black and white <laughs> which I don't dig too much but I do like all it the other dark. stuff yeah like a highlight to me is at the end when uh when again <laughs> Dumbledore <laughs> is doing all that fire stuff oh it's so cool it looks so Love great it. yeah I was like Wow, this is a really cool scene. <laughs> um, I always love how Hogwarts looks. Mm-hmm. There was like one shot where like I don't know, it was like in 
it was filming inside of a window of Hogwarts and then it like went out and it went into a different window and it was a different time period. It yeah, was really cool. That is cool. I don't know. I was like, wow, that's a cool shot. <laughs> yeah. So I think that the cinematography is really cool in this. Yes. Um, but yeah, I just hold it down a little bit because, <laughs> because of the lighting. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I went for the visuals with the nine as well. Um, I didn't do nine. Oh yeah, but I'm doing nines on this. <laughs> so yeah, I give that a nine oh. too. Because um, I just, I really enjoy it. I, I gotta say it's a lot of that final lag stuff, um, like you said with the fire. And I just love them going into that cave and everything. And I really like the look of Dumbledore drinking from that thing. Oh, that's cool. Um, and how he has to drink like that black water stuff. And he just has to keep gulping it and stuff. Oh, it's so cool. And then, <laughs> love all awesome. that. It's so visually cool. And then I love just the visuals of when Dumbledore, you know, gets killed. Um, yeah. How they're just on top of that tower. And um, the spell is performed and when he falls. And then I gotta give props to that visual at the end, you know, where everybody lights their wands up at the sky. Oh, yeah. Um, that was really cool. In honor of Dumbledore, that's such a cool part. I mean, this, the music in it, everything's just so mm-hmm. perfect. It's so visually nice. Um, yeah, I just I have a lot of fun with the visuals in it. Like I said, I love that book of the Half Blood Prince. It's really cool how it's written and how it looks. Um, I love when Malfoy and Harry are fighting, Harry does that spell, and Malfoy is just like, kind of bleeding on his white. Ah, uh, yeah. It's really interesting. It's cool. Um, and then Snape, like, kind of making the blood go away. Really yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of cool visuals. I think it's really cool. I think so, too. It's not as happy, of course, yeah. And I agree. It can get a little too, like, uh, dark when you're watching it. Like, uh, it's so like, like, I was wondering about my brightness. I was like, my brightness too low, or is it just the movie? And it's kind of just the movie. <laughs> it is. Um, just the movie. Whereas, yeah, it's under, it's a little too dark. It needs to be brightened up. Yeah, I agree. And stuff. Um, all right, action. We give the action. I gave the action an eight because I think whenever wait did I? Yeah, I gave it an eight because whenever this movie does action, I think it's really cool. Like especially just all the end stuff, like that last third act, like again with like the fire and then Dumbledore mm-hmm. dying and stuff. I think all that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I also really like that fight with Harry and Malfoy, even though it's really short. Um, I think what just sold it down a little bit is that there's not much action. But whenever the action is done, it is really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Nice. Um, I went pretty generous on the action. I gave it a 9.5. Wow. Because um, I... That's pretty high. Yeah, I really <laughs> enjoy it. Um, yeah, like that fight between Harry and Malfoy is dope. And then, um, yeah, I got to say, just all that action that I find like, I just love it so much. Um, it's some of the coolest, I think, in the whole, you know, span of the movies. Um, where I guess a lot of these do have action, but it's a lot more like kind of fun action and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um and then that's just some serious action there at the end um, with all, everything happening there and just the Dementors crashing through things and like, I started Dement- uh, the Death Eaters and crashing through houses and like the marks in the sky and like all that oh action. yeah it you is know, it just it leaves is really, it really cool. open for a cool final you know um, set of movies there yeah um, so yeah I mean I, just, I, I love the action because of how dark it is and everything and I don't think most of the movies get that much action like this um, granted, like, you know, Deathly Hallows Part 2 has ton- it's pretty much an action Yeah, movie. it's just all um, action. <laughs> and so, I mean, that one's got great action. But um, besides that, we don't get too much action, really, in any of these that are... It's mostly fun hijinks, fun yeah. things, and then this action is just, like, some serious, serious action. So, yeah, 9.5. Um, where do we get the plot of this movie, then? We have the plot of this movie at 8.5, mm-hmm. just because I actually... I like the plot a lot. Um, it's still not my favorite Harry Potter plot, but... Yeah. I do love the whole plot with the half blood prince and Snape, yeah. and uh, like all this stuff is really cool. I like the Horcruxes. I think that they're they're kind of a cool aspect. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like they are just kind of thrown at us though, pretty late, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forgive them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You you can go. I'm trying to think of more stuff. That yeah, ends. Um, I give the plot an eight point five too. Um, I think it's really good. It's mm-hmm. obviously not the best one. Um, yeah, there's, there's some better, better ones, but it's it's still really solid. I don't I don't really get people that say this movie's like boring or that the no, plot's I don't lame. either. I thought um, I was enjoying myself through it. Yeah, it's not like it's a lot of fun, but I just think the story is really well done. Like I mm-hmm. I don't feel bored by the story at all. No, um, I think it's interesting and it's a cool look into like the past with Voldemort and his history growing up and what he ended up becoming. And it's just a cool plot, I think, as far as Hogwarts is concerned. It's kind of the last we get to see of Hogwarts being a normal place. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I just love the plot with the potions. I think it's such a cool, you know, how potions is mostly the main class focus here and everything. Yeah, it is really um, cool. Then, yeah, I even enjoyed just the wrong stuff with the potions. It's such a fun plot line. Um, and how he's really in love and stuff. With yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, 
I think like, and yeah, the end too, just such good part of the plot. I mean, killing off Dumbledore, that's so crazy. I think it's a really cool idea too, to just like every like, like that potion at the end that he has to keep drinking. Yeah. It just like starts like killing him. It's, it's brutal. It's yeah. Watch. But it's like a, it's a really cool, like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's cool. It's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, Dumbledore dying. I thought that was really good. And like mm -hmm. Snape doing it. Snape Malfoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. And then Malfoy too, like um, how he has to go through, you know, he doesn't want to kill Dumbledore. Mm -hmm. He doesn't end up killing Dumbledore, but he wants to, you know, and he's expected to do all these terrible things. And you can tell there's just some part of him that does not he want to do it. He just regrets it. <laughs> and, uh, he's terrified to want to kill Dumbledore because he actually kind of likes Dumbledore. Mm -hmm. um, really cool. Yeah, so I think the plot explores a lot of cool things. I don't yeah. know if that's the movie doing it too well. Or that's the book. Not too sure. I'm sure the books I are also know. just as great. Um, hope to see on that, but... I think yeah, it's just it's, really, a great, it's a great plot one for him. I don't part. understand the hate of this movie. Me neither. I think it's really good. I think if you're looking for fun and enjoyment wise, it's maybe not like that high. goes to some of the earlier movies. Right. Yeah, but then this one is just it's setting things up, things are about to get dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was even surprised with like Order of the Phoenix, how much fun it still kept while the, I mean Voldemort's back. It almost seems like that should be a really serious yeah, thing. That's true. And then in Order of the Phoenix is still like we're having some fun. And then half of Prince mm -hmm. like, okay, we're actually starting to see some problems. We're gonna be dark. Yeah. So. And then the next two movies even go more into Exactly. It. Yeah. Oh, they're beyond dark. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, dark period. Especially seven. Yeah. Those will be fun to talk about, so we'll talk about those. <laughs> What's your final score out of ten? Uh, I got an eight point four out of ten. Yeah, so I got a nine point one. Wow. Yeah. Pretty high. Yep. Yeah. Love this movie. And then what do you give it out of five stars? I give it a four out of five stars. Nice. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Nice. I would I would do that, but there are just like a few Harry Potter movies I like a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. Um, then Rotten Tomatoes, 84%. Do you agree with that? I could go higher. I could too. Um, I'd maybe go like an 88. Yeah. Maybe a 90 at max, but I wouldn't go past 90. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 90's good. 90, yeah. Early, late 80s. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, pretty solid movie. We definitely really like it here. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, like I said, we'll be going through Deathly Hallows Part 1, Deathly Hallows Part 2. And then yes. uh, yeah, we'll probably end up breaking all the movies. Um, it's a really, actually, a really hard thing to rank the Harry Potter movies. There's so many. I know. They're all really like, good, mostly. Um, so it's really hard to like do that rank. So stuff. many that I just like, can't choose. Yeah, but yeah, if you're definitely a Harry Potter fan, stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, like I so said, we're going through Marvel content. Um, probably have some DC stuff we'll maybe talk about soon when we have that DC fandom thing happening. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of dope stuff happening there. Um, the Halloween stuff, we got Halloween. And then, um, yeah, just got a lot to talk about here. So make sure you guys stay tuned, like, subscribe. Yeah. Let us know what you think of Half Blood Prince or just Harry Potter in general. You guys have a great week. See you guys.